Hello there, it's Rochelle Hazel here on this beautiful Sunday afternoon and I do I know that I have this uh, heavy jacket on and I'm outside and it's nice and warm out here but it's so cold in my house I had to step outside for a few minutes so that I could thaw out because my guys they love when it's cold around the house and I can't stand it so yes I have on a jacket. Um, but I wanted to just cut this video today. It's going to be really quick um, because I've had some people recently come to me and ask um, how can, you know, what can they do to help some of their family members um, get out of situations that they're in, um, you know, with some financial hardships and things of that nature. I've also had, um, especially my oldest son, Adrian, come to me and will come to me and Ahmed and ask, you know, what can he do, you know, in support of a lot of the things that are going on, um, you know, the police brutality and the, the things that, you know, people are suffering around the nation, but especially here in our um, local city of Baltimore. You know, it, it's one of those things that are really tough because I know that most of us really do enjoy um, helping people and especially when we see our families or close friends going through things you know we we want to wish that we were in a position you know to be able to assist them with a little bit more than advice you know i know that there are a lot of people out here that would love to be able to give more to charity. There are a lot of people out here that would love to be able to give more to their church, um, you know, to help community organizations and things of that nature. And, you know, a lot of times we, we, we want to help, so we do things like, um, you know, we'll go to soup kitchens and, and help feed um, hungry people, or we will get involved in marches and things of that nature and hoping to affect change. But what I have realized and what Ahmed and I teach not only our sons, but, you know, people around us that that look for our advice is that the best way to affect change in your family, um, throughout your friendships, in your community, in your church, the best way to affect change is financially. You know, just imagine if you were in a financial situation, you know, where you could actually start a community organization or you could actually, you know, start your own soup kitchen where you would be the one to provide, not just go and spoon um, the, the food out and put it on people's plates, which is great because, um, you know, soup kitchens need that kind of help. But what if you were the one who was able to provide it on a consistent basis? You know, what if you knew that your nephew or your niece or even your own children were living in a really bad area and you needed to get them out of there? What's the best way to do that? The best way to affect that change is through financial, fi through our finances, financial contribution. Um, and most of the time, especially if you are working a nine to five, you know, most of the time with a nine to five, you live within those means. You live up to the standard of the amount of money that you make. So if you don't have the extra, then it makes it hard a lot of times for you to assist other people. So, you know, what I want to offer you today on this Sunday afternoon is, you know, I want to offer that you begin to look at some other options, some other options that are going to, you know, help not only you financially, but to put you in a position to where you can help other people get out of bad situations, whatever they may be. And again, the best way to affect that change is through financial contribution. What kind of financial contribution are you able to, um, you know, give? What are you able to do financially for someone else? Is it significant enough in your own mind that you feel happy and satisfied with it? 
And if the answer is no, if you would like to do more, if you would like to do more for your own family, you know, if you would like to do more for that friend who is about to uh, get their lights turned off, you know, if you would like to do more for that cousin who is on the verge of having their vehicle repossessed, if you would like to do more for that church that is about to have to close their doors. You know, if you would like to do more for a family who just lost their child to, you know, cancer, then what are you going to do in order to be able to do that? What I would like to do is I would like to hear from you because I have some options for you and I would definitely like to share those with you. You know, some options that um, Ahmed and I have been able to take advantage of and put ourselves in a position where, um, you know, when we choose, we can help affect change in different situations. So I would like to hear from you. Listen, if you're able-bodied, you can do more. You can do more, and I'm not talking about more for other people. I'm talking about more for yourself, more for the future of your family to make sure that they are in a good position in 10 years from now. So if you are interested in um, helping other people, helping yourself, helping your family, helping your friends, helping strangers even, then you need to contact me today. My number is 443-452-9353. Shoot me a text, comment under this video, um, call me, email me, do whatever you need to do because it's time for you to make some changes. We are in the second half of 2015. It's time to make some changes. If we keep waiting, nothing is ever going to happen. So I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to hearing um, about the desires of your heart to be able to help others. I love to hear those types of stories. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. I've had some time to thaw out a little bit. My hands are still cold. My feet are still cold, but I'm going to go back in the house now. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.